In today's video, we're going to be exploring the compact discs, CD-ROM discs to use with your Macintosh, more specifically, the Macintosh Demo Application CD. Let's take a look. The Mac we're going to be using to run this disc is my Quadra 840AV with a 40 megahertz processor. Running it on this machine should be no problem at all. So here we are booted to the desktop of the Quadra. I've inserted the disc. I'll just show you what pops up. So we have demo, more information, and support files. So let's just go directly into the demo. Now you have to excuse it. It's going to take a bit. Um, I think we're all spoiled by newer machines. Um, so reading the disc takes about a minute or two. Now we are greeted with the file folder that we saw. If you checked out my last video on the, uh, the game app, uh, the demo games that Apple included. There are eight pages in this file folder type format. And I thought we'd just look at some of them. So I'm not going to be clicking through each one because that would be a very long video, but just some that I thought more interesting than others. So we have the basic, the read me easy abouts and changing your monitor settings. So things like Adobe type uh, agent or Agent DA, audio shop, Blockers and Finders, Canvas, uh, Clip Media, Color It, Glares CAD. So I thought we'd check out Blockers and Finders. All right. So I've tried this before. It is some kind of learning game. So it's a very odd one that you just got to guide. Um, it looks like a little creature across this map. So you double click in these squares and you hope for the best, essentially trying to find that blocker that I can't seem to find now. It's got to be here somewhere. There we go. So. This little creature comes out, bounces off, and there you go. You get some kind of uh, ward system. Very strange. Have to take a look into that later. So that's page one. All right, so here on page two, so we have uh, Coral Draw, Daystar Digital, Data Prism. Disk Fit Pro, so just a lot of uh, basic office applications. Freehand, gallery effects, great works. Headline Harry. Let's take a look at Headline Harry. Now, for what I've seen. New from Davidson and Associates. Headline Harry and the Great Paper Race. This Help feels like a history and geography by transporting Carmen San Diego the exciting world clone, of newspaper journalism. Essentially. The program features Apple's QuickTime as well as dynamic graphics and digitized speech and sound. Headline Harry is guaranteed fun for all. So it's a learning game. I guess you go around, you ask questions, and you try to solve. I don't know if they call it cases, but you just try to put together headlines, I guess. So let's switch over to the next page. There we go. Uh, Hyperglot, ref card, illustrator, in control, informed manager. Kid Picks Companion, Kid Picks, Life Forms. So let's take a look at Kid Picks. Now, this is an old application that I know that many Mac collectors use when they were children, and you have to excuse that it's opening up on the side here. My capture card seems to push everything to the left, so we're not going to be able to see everything, unfortunately, on this side. But 
essentially a drawing application and I don't think it's there we go it's not gonna let us do everything so just a very basic demo of it very similar to paint so let's switch over to the next page okay so page four of eight so we're halfway there so Mac write Mac draw so the very basic uh, Apple software morph and Muppets on stage hi ho welcome to the Muppets on stage and they look like something's wrong with them as they're shaking over there so let's continue so yeah uh, it, this is what you'd assume it was it's a learning a learning application so if you're learning your letters as a child type in the letter and a dancing pretzel so let's try to get one wrong so it says Q let's put C try again no and the letter no Q. Get it right and the queen. okay so long and we'll try one more so how about the numbers so I guess you have to count. Eight cartoon birds. Let's try one getting one wrong. Um, count again. No, so it doesn't let you. And so long. There we go. So very basic. Let's just get out of that. Bye bye. So long. See you later. All right. Let's continue on, shall we? All right, page five, music time. My database, my label, my list, painter, Photoshop, page maker. Nothing too exciting on this page. Let's keep going. Quick keys, quick mail, raster ops, sound edit, special delivery, spelunks. Let's see, here we go. How about the playroom? I'm gonna assume this is another game for children. So from Broderbund, if you remember Broderbund, big software maker. Fun. Come on, everyone. 1989. Fun. Come on, everyone. All right, so let's head into the playroom. Not sure why the mouse is sitting by the window. So, this is just a demo on how to use it, I guess. Because I am not yes. moving the mouse. This is me right here. No. Don't walk. The voice is walk. kind of odd. So we have this green Don't thing here. I'm walk. not too sure what it is. Goldfish. Computer. Wonder if that's a Mac. Oh, looks like we're going to see what the computer does. So it's teaching you how to spell. Okay. Well, let's just get out of that. If you want, call the Macromind director if you want to give that a shot. And we'll go to the last page here. Video Shop, Video Vision, WordPerfect, Carmen San Diego. So let's take a look at this. I'm not expecting a whole lot of usability in the game this time because they were encouraging you to purchase Where in Time is Carmen San Diego, but let's see what you can do. Again from Broderbund. Where in Time is Carmen San Diego 1990? All right, so let's see if we can get in here. So somewhere in San Francisco. Right, so not able to click anything there. Let's see if we can just open the elevator. All right. No, I don't want to leave. Can I select anything? Yes. All right, so there we go. So you can start the game at least. Let's 
see. So welcome you to Acme. So you're starting your first case. Now I'm not hearing any sounds. Not entirely sure why. So here we go. So yeah, we. Uh, I'm not going to go through the whole game, but what you have to do is you have to solve. Uh, you have to find the criminal by finding all these pieces of uh, information you go around, some evidence, and eventually towards the end of the game, you, you find them. So that's Carmen San Diego. And that is about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A little look at the demo apps that Apple offered way back in the early 90s. If you did like this video, a like would definitely help me out and a subscription as well. Please share it and I will see you guys in the next one.